to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, heading into game number four, these two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Two timers right on to the bench. That's a little awkward. A uh, real awkward, isn't it, James? You can see kind of the extra shots happening there as they get out of here. You gotta pick yourself up and you gotta make your way to your own bench. That's a tough one. Because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck, just incredible save, James. Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out, and, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they've got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender's side, you've got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give them some rest. With the puck check. Jackson feels kind of hold of the puck. Loses his balance on the play. Quick pass to Carpenter. Gaining momentum up along the side. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Florida's got control of it now from their own end. Feeds it on over to Moberg. Handles the puck. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Fiddler Schultz wins the draw on their own end. Intercepts the pass. Jacksonville's looking to break out of their own end. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Riley. Jocelyn's got it in the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Oh, what a stick save! Fiddler Schultz carries the puck in his own zone. The Everblades have it from their own end. Jocelyn's picking up momentum through center. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Russell. Blocked in front. Knocked away. Sensational stop by Cormier. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. And they'll start with possession. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Icemen have gained possession off the wall. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And that's deflected off someone in front. Great pressure with the stick. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Jacksonville's gained possession. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. And a penalty coming up as the official stops the play.
Harris is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. And they take possession after the defensive zone face-off. They get it out of the defensive end. Slides it quickly to Carpenter. Fires it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Here's a chance. Oh, denied on the play. Whoa! As a true competitor say, just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Uh, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable as we look at this last save. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Past the halfway mark of this period, still no score in this one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Domingo. Gets a piece of it, it will play on. Through center along the wing. Center field! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Carpenter's got control of the puck in the corner. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. They go on the attack through center. Quick feed to Martin. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. The setters will glide into the dot. Browns won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Makes the glove stop. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Won the draw and they'll go to work. Drives to the paint. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he makes another save. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Aya Capelli's usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Cormier's a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. The Everblades move the puck in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Puts it on net. Oh, what a pass! Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Late goings of this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Everblades win the face-off. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Florida's taking the 1-0 lead here late in this first period. Well, anytime a goal is scored, James, it's a momentum builder for their team. And, and you know what? At the end of a period, it creates even more energy. You got the body language, you got the energy hitting the dressing room, and you get set to start the second. Now you got all that positive pent-up energy, and you look to start the second the same way you ended the first. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. The Everblades have created a lot of scoring chances tonight, and they lead it here late in the first. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Here's a chance! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. No. Gets hit on the playoff scoring. 
Well, I'll talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Oh, that's what you call quick transition in a counter strike, James, as the puck's going one way towards your end, and then it winds up going north. And guess what? You are the recipient of speed off the rush, and you find a way to cash in. Beautiful play from start to finish. Here in the late going of the frame, it's all tied up. Jackson Pills won the draw. Vernon's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Cockerell stick handling in his own zone. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Sent into the offensive zone. Good check, frees the puck up. Quick feed down low. Moves it to Fiddler Schultz. Club save. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Pendenz has won the draw here in the defensive zone. Florida's looking to break out. Cormier's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Cormier's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Riley. Receives the pass. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. A chance! Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any Rob's Sporting Goods for a coupon good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Jacksonville's game plan to start this second period needs to be to hold on to the puck, keep it simple, and not turn the puck over. I mean, their opponent has been jumping hard. They gotta be ready for it. They gotta make better decisions with the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And that's deflected. Tries to feed it over to Panetta. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. And now he angles it across to Cockerell and tries to make a diagonal pass to Harris. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves the puck along the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Carpenter. The Icemen have taken possession along the wall. Here's a short pass to Fiddler Schultz. And that's poked away. Taken along the wall by Fiddler Schultz. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a block! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Off the face off, they take the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's a chance! And there's the save. Jacksonville's got it in their own zone. Across the line. Chase it front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Jocelyn's got it in the defensive end. 
with possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Riley. Here he is on the backhand. Denies the shooter on that play. Florida's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Everblades carry it along the wall. Here's a shot. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Some goalies have cat-like reflexes, and tonight he's just a little slower, James, to get across, and unfortunately it hits him. He doesn't get all of it, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Everblades are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shift that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. Hopperwell's got it against the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Florida's playing it from the side. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. You're trailing by one and you take the penalty, not the way to get back in the game. once again send out their power play unit. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that we see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay calm and trust the process and their skill sets. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. The Everblades are enjoying things in twos. Here in period number two, they've gone up by two, Cheryl. There's been a lot of twos, James, and they'd love to get another couple goals to really pad the stats and increase their lead. But right now, it's about habits, not giving their opponent any life in this game. Jacksonville's got the puck now. The Migos got it in the offensive end. Now a quick pass to Panetta. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It was the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Florida's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Everblades have it now. Here they come up along the wing. Florida's got the puck against the wall. James, it shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. They are really buzzing here on the offensive end. There's a hit right there. And they skate it out of the danger zone. And he slides it quickly to Steos. Here's a blast. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Cornier's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. The Everglades ready to go on the attack. Answered the call on that play. Sends the pass over. Lodermeyer's across the line now, and on the attack in the offensive end. Great poke by Murph. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, that just goes wide. Toss up the puck after that hit. Off the stick. To the zone, but the one-timer save. Wow. Mersh has got it along the wing. Shot. Scores. And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game.
Jackson fills down some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. Poked away by Aya Capelli. Fiddler Schultz plays it now. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Slick feed. And he takes the feed. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Jacksonville's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Everblades continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. And they win the draw here in their own end. Takes the feed, moving in. Wax it into the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. The Everblades gain the zone. Shot! What a stop! No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Jacksonville's got it in their own zone. Sends a pass over. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Russell's got the puck in his own zone. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick feed to Jostling. Jacksonville's got it in the neutral zone. Centering pass! And that's stopped! And the goal covers up for the whistle. Here in the late goings of the period, Florida's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Jacksonville's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Pockerill's gained the line and on the attack. The Everblades are in transition. Puck dumped in. Jacksonville's got possession of the puck. Pockerill's lugging the puck. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Everblades move the puck in the defensive zone. From the left side, takes the pass. Fires it. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Jacksonville's behind in this game because they've mismanaged the puck change. You know the coach is not going to be happy. They weren't ready right from the get-go at puck drop and really chasing the game all over the ice, forcing plays and giving up the puck way too easily. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Moves it to D'Amigo. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Battle along the boards. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Quick pass to Martin. Jacksonville's got the puck against the boards. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Florida's got the puck. And the puck's kicked free. The Everblades will play it from the defensive zone. Dumps it in. Jacksonville's got a hold of the puck now. Florida's got the puck here in the open ice. The Everblades looking against the half wall. Puck picked up by Aya Capelli. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, and he misses on a great A-plus scoring chance there. Well, uh, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it 
in the mesh. Jacksonville's got the puck against the half wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Puts it on net. That's on the stick. Jocelyn's moving the puck through his own zone. The Everblades played along the boards. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Works it across to Aya Capelli. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. The Everblades are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all of those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Quick shot! Oh, what a save in front! Cormier's able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. Here's a shot! Gets a piece of it to make the save! More than half the period left to play. The Everblades are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Takes the puck. Battle along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Quick pass across to Stales. Gaining momentum up along the side. Florida's third line is showing the number one performance right now. I mean, this is critical when you have your depth players that are stepping up this big. You know that every player on that bench is going to be giving them stick taps at the end of this game. Stars! I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, it certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this face-off? We want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. It looks like the goaltender's tracking the puck really well. His movement is agile, but he just can't keep up to that quick-release shot on the inside of the post. have come out like gangbusters in the third and we are tied well, nothing better than getting the equalizer to set the sails in the right direction and you can feel the urgency in their game right now and you know that they've made the adjustments that they talked about with the staff and man that they come out really strong in this third here they come on the rush and makes the save and that carries off a stick brown's gonna play it against the half wall and just like that from out of Puck not loose in neutral zone. Brown's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Here's the chance to take advantage with the delayed penalty. They've got the extra attacker on the ice. Lays into the body. Brown's going to play the puck behind the cage. Mersh is on the attack in the offensive zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here comes the call. The Everblades are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. opportunity on the power play in this game and specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for Jacksonville's got the puck along the wall D'Amigo's got it along the boards and that's blocked in traffic tries to get it out of their own end and they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Here's a short pass to Kokoro. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. Well, I really like this PK unit, James. Just working in sync, almost as if they're on a pendulum or a string together, knowing exactly what the other is going to do, and a the reason they're still tied. Cockerell's taking it from his own end. Jacksonville's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Panetta. Big time stop. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Who had the edge in Carlin Bates' mind? She's standing by with the answer. Aya Capelli's been able to provide some offense in this matchup, guys, so I have to give him the edge in this one. Florida's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Jacksonville's got a hold of the puck. 
With some open space at center. And that's poked away by Riley. He carries the puck up along the wing. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And they'll dump it in. Looks to make a play over to Iacopelli. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. And that goes off course off a of body. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Jacksonville's looking to break out. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. The Icemen have taken possession in their own end. Moves the puck. Change him off! Change him off! To the front! Fantastic save! Jacksonville's on the attack. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoff. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Florida's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Quick feed to Pendenza. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Takes the feed. And that's blocked. And now it's grabbed by Harris. The Everblades have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Puck grab by Pendenza. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Take it along the wall by Russell. Fiddler Schultz works the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. There's the horn. Neither team giving an inch to each other tonight, and so we'll go to overtime next.
James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.